Yep, your pegs pop out, but don't glue them. Hey, it's Denise from LumaHat.com, and in this video, I am going to tell you why not to glue them and what are your options. All right, let's talk. Let's start by me letting you know that at least with the Nifty Knitter and most of the knockoffs, these pegs are all the same size on most of your looms. And so if one breaks, you can just replace it with another or you can use them to mark your loom for certain patterns. Like I normally use stitch markers, but if you don't like stitch markers, you can just take another peg from a different color loom and use that to mark your loom. How cool is that? All right, so here's a rarity on a Nifty Knitter. I had a peg that cracked and a piece was left inside and I'll show you in another video how I can get that out but if it's glued I can't. Now this is a Slim Jim and you can't use another peg from another loom because they're not the same size but there are other solutions so another reason not to glue your pegs. Um, now with the flower loom specifically and with the blue loom as well, depending on the project, you actually need these pegs to come out. And a lot of you have made the flower that's made on the flower loom. It's called a flower loom in order to make a specific flower. But I want you to know that the same technique that I use to make the flower loom, I use to make my pom-poms and my scrubbies. It's the same technique. I need the pegs to come out. So. Here are three different temporary solutions. One is to move the pegs. Believe it or not, sometimes all it takes is just taking a peg off of its existing um, little socket and move it to a different one. Sometimes it's just you overuse them and you put them in the same ones over and over again. How? You know, hard to say, but yeah, if you just move your pegs around, in some cases, with some of them, that's enough to get them uh, secure. All right, so I wanted to follow uniformity, and so the second one says that you stuff them, but you don't really stuff the peg. What you do is, in my case, I'm using um, some yarn that I cut to make my pom-poms. You can use cotton or even paper or, um, wow, anything, tissue. All you need is a very little, little bit, and you put it on top of the little hole where you're going to put the peg and then just make sure that the peg is in the right direction you have this face facing forward and then you just push the peg in and try to make sure that you get some on the sides and then just push the peg in back into the hole and you'll even see that it's even hard to put it in and it's not going to come out all right that's solution number two now my third and favorite is tape I know it sounds weird, but this is my favorite. You just take a little piece of tape and get your peg and wrap that little peg around it. And what you'll find is that this secures it really well, still allows you to take the peg out, and it doesn't show. It just basically disappears, and then you have it everywhere. You have it on the bottom and on the sides. Um, and I just find that it works better than the other two. And there you go. Your pegs are not going to pop out, but they will come out when you're ready for that. All right, guys, please share the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.